All right, welcome to Dart University. We're gonna talk about lash. It's a confusing topic. There's different ways to do it. We're gonna show you two. Uh, one's gonna be for mild build cams, but if you've got a roller, a big roller, you might wanna try the second one. It's gonna ensure your, your valves are lashed properly. So we're gonna get TDC on the cylinder, number one. And, yep, you can hear the compression stroke there. So we're on TDC. Now we can set both lash for the intake and exhaust. Now all we gotta do once we've set our lash so we can go into firing order on the Chevys, 1, 8, 4, 3, 6, 5, 7, 2. So I can go about 90 degrees and I'll be TDC on number 8. So if I come up here to number 8, now I can set both of these. Now if I got hydraulic, what I want to do is I want to start tightening this down and I want to feel my push rod. Just when all the lash goes to zero and I feel a little tension there, then I can give it another half to three quarters of a turn. Now I've got my push rod and everything in my hydraulic circuit just enough. Everything is set right, I can lock it down. Now if I'm doing mechanical lash, well, I'm gonna get my feeler gauge out. I'm gonna set it to spec. Ideally, you're gonna do it hot, cold. You'd set it a little bit different, maybe go back and adjust it when it's running. Now, that's the easy method. So I can do a whole cylinder at a time. Now, if I've got a big duration cam, I gotta make sure I'm on my base circle. And these big, especially roller cams, the base circle is actually pretty small. And I might have a ramp leading into my big lift. So what we're gonna do, we'll come back here to the number one cylinder. I'm gonna watch my exhaust. So my exhaust just starts to go down. Now I'm on my base circle for my intake, so I can set this one. Well, I can go through my firing order again. I'm not gonna set both, but I'm just gonna do my intakes. So I'll go 90 degrees. I can watch over here. Now this intake's ready to go. So I can go through all my intakes that way, so they're all done. Then I can come back and I can start over again. I can start doing my exhaust. So I'm gonna go through a little bit different. I'm gonna wait for my intake to go all the way down. And then just as it's starting to come back up, now I'm on my base circle for my exhaust. I can do the same thing. Set my lash, lock it down, go through cylinder by cylinder, and I'm all done. A little extra steps, it's just insurance to make sure you got it right. Mm -hmm.